if God created everyone, who created God? That's what I'm going to share with you. Welcome back. Please like and subscribe. It's going to be a quick video on who created God. Watch the very end of the video because I'm going to share with you who created God. Okay, so everybody know that in the Bible, those who know the Bible, God is the Alpha and Omega. You know, he is the beginning and he is the end. And a lot of people talk about this. A lot of people. There's been debates. It's been arguments. And it's also been hatred on who created God. And then I just want to share this with you on who created God. There is, you know, you got God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I want to share that with you too. And in the book of Genesis chapter 1, in the book of Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So that means the earth wasn't here. Who live on earth? Us. People. The, the animals. Uh, the grass. The seas. That's, that's who lives on earth. And it even said it that God created the heavens and the earth. So that means he created the heavens also. He created the heavens and the earth. Let this dawn on you. And the beginning. What does the beginning mean? That means in front of everything. It don't say. Uh, it don't say Jonathan in the beginning. God created the heavens and the earth. It don't say Timothy. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It didn't have none of those names in front of God. Because remember, Revelations, God is the Alpha and Omega. Jesus said it so many times. The Bible says it so many times. So if God is the Alpha and Omega, who created God? He's the beginning and the end. Who created God? And if you read, the end means the end of everything. The end of everything. Nothing after it now. Those, this is textbook education. In the end. When somebody read a book, it says, in the end. And that's it. They close the book, right? When somebody opens the book, they say, in the beginning. They opens the book, right? And so with that one scripture... That one scripture. A pastor told me this one day. I asked him the same question when I was a baby Christian. I said, man, if God created everything, who created God? And he said this. He opened up the Bible. He said, open up your Bible. I was like, okay, I'll open up my Bible. And then he said, close it. I'm like, okay, I closed it. And he said, when you, what's before when you opened it? I was like, you told me to open it? And he said, okay. What's after when I told you to close it? Nothing. I closed it. And he said, okay. And he said, when you open your Bible, what's the first story you see? I was like, book of Genesis. And he said, what does it say? I said, in the book. He said, well, keep going. In the beginning. Stop right there. And he said, in the beginning, that means in front of everything, not in front, not Joseph in front, then the beginning, not Jonathan in front, then the beginning, not Joyce in front, then the beginning, not Timothy in front, then the beginning, not David in front, then the beginning, not Trisha in front, then the beginning, not none of that. In the beginning, God. So that means that God was already here in the beginning. Unless you can call the beginning a person. Unless you can call the end a person. But if you did call the beginning a person or the end a person or the alpha a person or the omega the person, the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega, it's God. So that means that God was here already. In the beginning, when you open your Bible, that's the first thing you see. When you close your Bible, you don't see nothing after that. 
You only see the back of your Bible, which is no words, nothing. So I just want to share this with you. And this is my opinion. Comment in there what you feel. I'm just going off the Bible. Brother Reigns did not say it. I did not say, oh, somebody created God before God was created, before God was God, before God. I didn't say none of that. I just share with you one simple verse. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That was it. One simple verse. And I opened up the first Bible. I mean, the first uh, the first page, the first sentence, the first scripture. God was in the beginning. God is going to be the end. When you get on that bed, your deathbed, the last person you're going to see is God. When you go into that light, actually, it's going to be a pastor that's going to try to get you saved if you're not already saved. But God is the beginning and the end. So you're going to see God. You saw God at the beginning and you see in God at the end. You're going to see God when you die. You're going to see God. And when eternal life happens, wherever you go, wherever you at, wherever you decide to go, whatever, if you got salvation in Christ, you're going to go to heaven. You're going to see God even more. But if you choose the other route, you're going to see Satan. You might not see God ever. Jesus ever. Eternal life. Now, eternal life is either down there or up there. Choose because you're going to, you ain't going to live long. You cannot control your spirit. But back to my comment. In the beginning, God. Simple. It didn't say in the beginning, God, Jonah. It didn't say in the beginning, God, Tommy. It didn't say in the beginning, God, Miss Jones. It didn't say in the beginning, God, Becky. Becky. It said, or Barbara. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. The heavens wasn't even, the earth wasn't even heard. The heavens wasn't even heard. So that lets you know who created God. God was already created. He was already here. He is the creator of all. He is the alpha and the omega of all so he is the creator there is nothing above the creator he's the createe if you want to say that he's the front if you want to say that he's the beginning if you want to say that he's the end if you want to say that so please like and subscribe i hope this helped you i will have more videos i'll try to do videos every other day thank you guys and god bless